Good morning, this is Jeff with Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 5916 Northeast Alberta Street here in Portland. Located at the front of the house, we are just to the right of the front doorway. We have a four inch ABS clean out and describe everything as if you're standing in the street facing the front of the house. We're gonna check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. Waters are running. We're gonna zero out here at the base of the clean out and off we go. And then we'll run backwards at the end once the line's fully drained. Getting a transition here over to PVC pipe. There's a little bit of shifting or selling that's taken place there. We'll revisit this joint on the way out. Um, thus far, it looks like a minor visual blemish more than anything. Um, the lip on it's teeny tiny. So the biggest thing here as we come back, I'll just check to make sure there's no signs that the joint you know, is potentially open to the ground. Most likely it's not. But at the base of that hard dive and everything there, a little lip like that would require incredible levels of abuse to ever get a blockage to develop there. Okay. All right, we've hit the main here at 62 feet. We're going to pull back. In fact, we're going to just kill two birds with one stone here. I'm going to pull back to the transition joint. We're going to let the line drain out, and I'm going to locate and verify the line is terminating out on Northeast Alberta Street. All right, so we're at the transition joint. I just located here. This is essentially right where the fence line is at the front of the property. The line here does essentially a straight shot from the clean out to the main. So the joint here shifted a little bit. Um, you've got a little bit of spacing there, bottom right-hand corner. You know, if this were to be a square shape anyway, bottom right-hand corner of the pipe there. By and large, what I'm looking at, I'm seeing black rubber fern coat in between the pipe joint. I'm not seeing a whole lot in the way of obvious dirt staining or anything like that. And a joint that's, that's this deep, if it were to be open to the ground, generally speaking, you would see signs of, of, of hydro erosion at this point. There is essentially no settling that's taken place here. It's like they didn't, they didn't butt the pipe all the way up. It slipped a little bit. But I'm just not seeing, there's no earthworms crawling around the line or anything that indicates that joint is open. There's a little bit of spacing there. 
but there's a black rubber fern coat that secures these joints together. It's a big rubber sleeve. And you've got general cell. Being that there's there's really no obstruction here whatsoever in the flow line, and I don't see any signs that's open to the ground, that's not what I'm going to recommend to repair on. You know, is there a chance? It's feasible, but there's just no sign. And, the, and it's a trickier one, too, because it's in the flow line where water moves through the sewer line, which can fairly easily wash any dirt evidence away. But generally, you're going to have secondary signs. You're going to often have earthworms crawling around, things of that nature. And usually, when, a, when the bottom of the pipe joint is, is compromised, often other portions of it are, too. And you'll have drip stains going down the sidewalls, things like that. I'm just not seeing it here. So it's, it's one that I would recommend re-scoping to, to take another look at it in time. But right now, I think it would be a hasty move to, to jump straight to repairs. The nice part here is you have, and that looks like you're transitioning here over to 6-inch PVC. Because uh, the bottom of the pipe there is a flush transition, but the top, it's belled out. Um, anyway, what I'm getting at here is you've got six or 4 and 6-inch pipe, a big giant 4-inch clean-out. If you ever had to fix that, that is something that can be done trenchlessly by epoxy liner. You could line over the top of it if it was ever necessary. Right now, I don't see any, and that, that's been in the ground a long time. That's not a uh, update that was just done recently. This has been here for probably 20 years or more. Um, that white PVC pipe is just not something they're using these days. That was done more so back in the, the 90s. So, and if you have a joint that's open at the ground for a long period of time, you're generally going to see much more progression than that in, as far as an offset goes, things like that. So, at this point in time, my opinion, it, there's not enough there to recommend repairing it, and I, there's no obstruction to the flow line or anything. So, we're going to go ahead and reel back in here and flip the camera around. Fantastic flow all the way to the main. A little bit of a question mark at that transition joint. Um, aside from that, the rest of the line looks great. And as we go back here, I'm hoping to get around this little bit of a, it's got kind of a horizontal offset to it. It's not in the, in the manner that would affect flow. If that were, re, we're going backwards right now, so flow would not be running into that lip there. I'm just not sure my camera's going to hop over it. I put a string on my camera head and was able to hoist it over the top of that joint there. You might see a white string as we reel back in. That's all it is, in case you're wondering what that stringy thing is in the flow line. A very, I mean, there's this line just end to end is incredibly clean. No buildup whatsoever. Um, as we pull back out here, I'll point out some spots. The cast iron's got a few areas that are a little bit on the rougher side, which is, I mean, to be expected for this era of piping. All right, that's the back end of the line there. That's the vent stack. If you look up through this here, now there's that little light at the end of the tunnel up ahead there. That's the sky. We're looking straight up at the sky through the roof vent right now. <clears throat> Big thing with cast iron pipe, because of that rougher texture, you want to be extra mindful of things going down the line. No, You don't want to put paper towels or wipes or things like that down. It's not forgiving to it. This joint here looks somewhat separated, although the joint appears to be affixed in place that way. It doesn't appear separated and open to the ground. There is some gapping between the, the pipe ends there, but I don't see any signs that it's actually open. You've got some little bit rougher pipe here as we come back in towards the beginning, or I guess, depending on the direction you're looking, this is actually towards the end of the cast iron as it goes with flow. So right here, you're starting to get some wear and tear in the flow line. 
That's the very beginning stages of channeling. Channeling's where the pipe bottom slowly but surely gets worn out, but um, this right now does not look terribly advanced. Like this spot right here is probably the most advanced in the line. Um, there's no buildup on top of it, and it's not perforated through yet. Um, anytime you have older materials like this in the line though, and, and this, this joint here is not problematic. It, it, it's an offset technically, but only when we're going backwards, which is not with flow. Nothing has a, there's no lip there for debris to run into. So at this point in time, the cast iron is, is in a functional state. Um, I would say it's in fair condition for its age. It's all intact, it's very clean. <clears throat> but you do want to rescope that periodically, about every, I'd probably do it every two years to monitor the cast iron's condition. And a lot of that is related to the advent of epoxy liners, which are trenchless repair systems now. Um, if you let a line wear out, too far, you start losing the ability to do a trenchless epoxy liner on it if you allow it to open up to the ground and cause settling problems. So it behooves you these days to keep an eye on things if you want to take advantage of that kind of repair process if you're here long enough to see the line get updated. As it currently sits right now, just based on the condition it's currently in, you know, it, it, the line looks like it should have at least another five, if not seven years left in it. A lot of it comes down to usage though. Um, activity on the line. If you start pouring Drano down the line, things like that will prematurely wear cast iron out. But as it sits here today, it, is, it functions just fine. There's zero buildup in the line or anything of the sort. And no standing water either. At this time, we have a good flow all the way to the main lateral connection. Sewer line is functioning properly at this time. Uh, but I would rescope periodically to keep an eye on both the uh, transition joint as well as the cast iron. Just monitor it, make sure everything's looking good. All that stuff as it sits right now, could all be done trenchlessly if it, if it were even necessary. <clears throat>